Hello and welcome, Peacock fans, to another episode of Peacocks on the Prowl. I'm Jim Lowry, and sitting next to me today is head coach Aaron Nelson of the women's volleyball team. Coach, nice to have you. Thanks for having me. All right, coach, you're coming off a great weekend. You went 3-1 and one at the Wildcat Open. Why don't you tell us what happened? Uh, we played a tough match on Friday uh, to start off with Michigan Tech. It had been a rematch of, of uh, we'd seen them twice in the past two seasons. Um, they were an experienced team. They played a really nice match. Uh, they kind of controlled the tempo um, with their ball control and the speed with their middles. Uh, and we couldn't adjust. We, we just couldn't quite get going on them in that first game. Uh, we didn't play our best, and they played a really solid match. And, uh, but it was tight all the way through. Uh, then we played a really good solid match against Lake Superior State in the afternoon, kind of took care of the ball, took care of them, um, and, and really did what we needed to do to uh, really dominate or, or, or you know, dominate the, our side of the net so that you know, our athleticism and, and experience kind of ruled out there. Um, you know, and then I think on, on Saturday we played one of our better matches since I've been here against Fort Hayes State. Uh, they were an experienced team with some good weapons and we did a nice job of shutting those weapons down and really getting our offense rolling and it started with our passing and our defense and really, um, you know, Jenna, Jenna did a great job of distributing uh, and getting a lot of people the ball and, and we just rolled a little bit with our offense in that match. Uh, and then we played a really tough, tough game against Michi or Northern Michigan. Um, on their home floor, they were big, they blocked real well. We started off extremely slow, uh, but did a nice job of turning things around in the second set and battling with them, um, you know, point for point there. Uh, we had a big lead in the third and couldn't finish, uh, but, you know, came back in the fourth and, and really limited our errors and, uh, you know, kind of beat them down, you know, slowly as we went. And, and you know, they, they battled back again in the, in the fifth and took a lead. Um, but we, uh, you know, our offense and, and again, our ball control and defense kind of took over the end of that match as well. So it was a good win um, on their home floor. So, All right, Coach, and then you snuck in another match on Tuesday before we could film again. Uh, tell us about the game against Waldorf. Yeah, as an NAI opponent that we, you know, we, we try and schedule an extra home match a year, and they came, they, they traveled last night. And, um, you know, we started off really strong uh, with our, again, ball control and defense. Did a great job of starting things off. Passing was, was right on, on point. Um, and the, the setters did a great job of getting the ball to everybody last night. We got a good contribution from, you know, we had 13 players in the match, and that's, that's you know, nice for us to get that many people into a match at home. Shows our depth and shows that we've got a little bit more versatility. Um, and, and we've got, you know, that good competition in the gym is it's, it's kind of, you know, proven out right now and that we're deeper than we've been in the past and we kind of showed that last night. But it was nice to, to get a, a solid win at home uh, with this week of five home matches and, and uh, you know, we look forward to playing this weekend four more at, you know, four more home ones for the tournament. All right, Coach, now you mentioned the tournament. The tournament is going to be this weekend, Thursday through Saturday. Your first two opponents, Michigan Tech and Northern Michigan, will be rematches from the Wildcat Open. Uh, are you going to change up your game plan in those two matches? Uh, no, I don't think so. I think, you know, against Michigan Tech, we just have to be a little bit more solid with our execution on our side. Um, you know, we've seen what they've got now, and we're going to try and adjust a little bit to their, to their speed, um, you know, start taking away some of their some of their strengths if we can right away early, but you know, really just work on executing our side a little bit better and giving them a little bit better challenge, uh, making it tougher for them to, to earn their points. Uh, same thing with Northern Michigan. I think um, you know, the way we started off, we started off a little slow, and once we did sol finally get into our game and, and, you know, and playing on our side, um, I think it was a good battle back and forth, and it really was. We executed a little bit better down the stretch than they did in, in sets four and five. And, uh, you know, we look forward to, to seeing them at, at our place and kind of giving them a little bit of, you know, back uh, of that tough environment that we had there. And then Saturday you have two matches, the early one against Minot State, the later game against St. Cloud State. Uh, two new opponents for you. What are you kind of seeing for those matches? Yeah, I mean, they're, they're, they're familiar NSI IC opponents. Um, they've got two new coaches. Both, both have come from, from different programs this last year with uh, a lot of returning players, so it'll be interesting to see what they've, what they've done with, uh, with the players that are kind of on the roster and kind of how they've put their spin on it. Um, it'll be a, a good to see what we're going to see in the NSIC. You know, Minot finished just ahead of us last year. Um, and uh, so that'll be a good challenge to start the day. And then, you know, St. Cloud State's my alma mater, so I always like playing them, uh, especially when we get them at home. 
And there you have it, Peacock fans. Come on out and support your women's volleyball team this weekend. Thursday, they're playing Michigan Tech. Friday, they're playing Northern Michigan. And on Saturday, they're playing Minot State and St. Cloud State. The night games, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, will be televised on KCRG. Until next time, I'm Jim Lowry. Thank you for watching.